Hello, hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. Yeah, Bitcoin has not yet shown us a strong bounce, um, but that could still be unfolding because we're dealing here with corrective structures. Obviously, a correction of sorts has started. We talked about it in the previous video. This here is just a quick intraday update to talk about the latest changes, structures, if there are any changes. Um, if you're interested in the daily time frame, the bigger picture, then yeah, feel free to check out the last video. It's still up to date and it covered the daily chart. It was only recorded um, earlier today, right? So we're still dealing with two scenarios. Um, price action that has developed here since the US stock market opened, um, yeah, more closely, I would say, confirms the, the yellow count, which is here listed as primary scenario anyway. Uh, let me take you through this one. We would call that short-term bearish, but overall bullish but then we should not rule out the other one either. So we want to talk about them. The yellow count is overall bullish because we can identify from the 5th of July low, a five wave pattern to the upside here as per the yellow scenario into the Monday high where the price topped around 70K, bounced from, or bounced off, shouldn't say bounced off, got rejected from the previous swing highs here, structural resistance, this is a, a resistance area. That's why we had it on the chart as a red line indicating structural resistance. Shouldn't be surprised to find resistance there. We had five waves at least technically complete. Obviously further extensions are always possible, but the risk is always higher when we have five waves complete, um, at least technically, and then approach a resistance level. Now we are seeing some kind of a pullback. And it now in turn takes the five wave move up again to indicate that the next move up has started. For now, it looks like we are in a correction. So after this five wave move up, it is likely that this entire five wave move up gets corrected. This would mean A wave down, B wave up, C wave down. This is listed here as primary scenario. The white count is alternative, but we cannot rule it out, but I'll talk about that in a minute. In this scenario, I'd like to see the wave two get at least to 63,291. This is the 38.2 retracement. Normally, an A wave reaches the 38.2 retracement and shows us a bounce. So maybe this yellow wave A gets to that level. If that's the case, we have much more clarity that this is the yellow count. For now, um, I still assume the A wave is unfolding. Uh, I could go a little lower. I would not focus too much on the micro count. The levels matter. So again, it takes a break below the upper support region. That means a break below 64,724 to confirm further the yellow count. That would allow us to r start to r rule out the white count, right? A break below 64,724. I'm watching for a B wave bounce to start at some point. It hasn't started yet. Well, maybe the B wave is unfolding. One of my previous updates was around, I assume that at least the B wave is unfolding. Could still be the case, but has shown weakness. So it might be we get one more extension in wave A. This could set the stage for a bullish divergence on the one hour chart, however, for a B wave rally, okay? For now, the resistance for wave B stays intact. And the assumption is that we go down lower as long as the resistance stays intact, okay? So short term, trend is down, but on, let's say on high alert for a B wave move up, even though I would say it doesn't make sense to, you know, tr trading these microstructures doesn't make sense in a correction, right? So they, they will move, they will change. That's always what a correction does. Bottom line is there is no confirmed low in place at the moment. And I expect uh, wave A to go down. Yeah, well, could go down a little lower, um, but the wave two, I expect to reach at least 63,290, could even go lower occasionally. These wave twos are shallow, but I have nothing in the price action that would, let's say, confirm at the moment that this yellow wave two is going to be shallow. So again, A wave could get actually near nearing completion, um, especially with one more low, we might even have a bullish divergence, but there is no way to confirm any significant low in place in a wave two. So the yellow box is there, it's colorful, it's large enough. If we get there, it could be an opportunity for a um, trade to get positioned for a third wave rally. Wave two defined between 56,775 and 63,291. So this is the yellow count, which means at some point we should get a B wave bounce. I will have to adjust the resistance. If we make another low in wave A, I will do that 
communicate that on Discord, and then you will also see that in the next video. However, we should not rule out the white count, which is the more accelerated bullish scenario. Again, quick reminder, we are pretty much oversold on the one hour time frame. Um, and last time that happened was sort of last Thursday where we had a significant rally from. So this can turn around quickly. Also here, bullish divergence formed last Thursday on the one hour chart. So if now an impulsive break to the upside occurs and we get close to the Monday high and even break it, that would make the white count, the more directly bullish count much more likely. And then we are likely in a third of a third wave already. So, but to keep this scenario alive, we need to hold 64,724. So the upper support area is for the more accelerated bullish count. The lower support area is still bull or is still for a bullish count, but allows for a more substantial wave two. The larger wave two seems more likely at this stage, but I wouldn't rule out the white count and um, the yellow count will be confirmed further if we break below the upper support area. At the moment, either way, in none of these scenarios, I can confirm a low in place, but it's a bullish chart and in the next few months, especially if the yellow box is holding, price is holding above 60, no, 56,775, we should be watching for the price to get to 90 to 100K. But the condition is that the price holds above the 78.6 retracement of the larger five wave move that unfolded between the 5th of July and the 29th of July, yeah, Monday, because this is a five wave move and if it gets corrected really and we, we're in a bullish market, short term you could say, then the wave two shouldn't really break below that 78.6 retracement. It would be too weak. Um, but until we do that, you know, there isn't really a bearish interpretation here, or at least the chart isn't bearish until we get a break below that yellow support zone. Also bear in mind that 78.6 retracement is not an invalidation point. The invalidation point is the 5th of July low. That's at 53,600. But in, you know, it, it is the case that normally a wave two wouldn't break below the 78.6 FIP level. So if it does, it's a signal that something more bearish is unfolding. That's my update about Bitcoin. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.